It's like this sort of craving, I guess. It's kind of like food. It's like Hungry food. and there was like yes. pizza. Yes. Pizza but with orgasms, yes. <laughs> <laughs>「Asexual」so I don't experience sexual attraction. Have you ever had sex or is it just like no? No I've never had sex. People tend not to believe <laughs> that. <laughs> apparently, <laughs> I, apparently I don't give off that vibe but I okay, actually... The, the dress. I was like, okay, come on, Dominic. <laughs> <laughs> that wasn't intentional. But yeah, no, I've never actually had sex before. I never did the whole dating thing. You never dated either? No, I'm also what they call aromantic. I don't experience okay. romantic contraction either, so they just happen to blend together. I'm hypersexual, so I'm like literally completely opposite. <laughs> With my current partner, he's very hypersexual too, so we have a lot of sex. How did you discover that you were asexual? I mean, I feel like I realized I was asexual when everyone else seemed to realize that they weren't. So it was like early puberty mm -hmm. when people started to make their feelings more obvious. And that's when I was like, okay, I'm not feeling this the same way as you guys are. When did you think that there is a word that I should use to describe my experience? Did you ever really feel that? No, because I was raised Christian and you know, you have the whole Adam and Eve and you like see it on TV all the time. It's in songs, it's just everywhere. People in the queer community always have to kind of explain what they are and how they are and why they are. And then it's like, if you're straight, it's just, <laughs> <laughs> it's just whatever, like that's the standard. Do you find it lonely? Like, do you ever like crave to have a partner? Or? No, cause I feel like it's just not really the way my emotional connections with people manifest. So mm -hmm. the same kind of energy people put into like a romantic relationship, I just do the same thing of my platonic ones. Mm -hmm. So I feel like as long as you have like other kinds of connections, then you wouldn't really be lonely. How would you articulate what sexual attraction is yourself? I don't know, you feel like hot. Like literally, like temperature yeah, like, raised. Because you know the whole like blushing, like you kind of feel like a bit warm and then there's like this sort of tight feeling, like this tension and just like, ah, oh, I need them to be in my body. <laughs> <laughs> It's like this sort of craving, I guess. Kind of like <laughs> food. Like if you were like, like hungry food. and there was like yes! pizza, yes! and you're like, uh. Pizza but with orgasms, yes. yes. <laughs> <laughs> Have you had an orgasm before? Oh yeah, all the time. Okay, okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, she does this, all right, cool. So what do you picture when you? I just think about orgasms, because that's what I'm trying to achieve. Sorry, walk me through this. Because I'm like very like visual, so like I'll like imagine like scenes and shit. But you're just like, this feeling is gonna come. Just walk towards the lights. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds like that. Literally, <laughs> like it is kind of it is kind of like that. I'm literally just thinking of sort of like metaphysical <laughs> concepts. <laughs> We're like starving. I can't that. Like I I just need to like like even if you're like, I know like I'm watching TV and yeah. a sex scene comes on, that energy that they're channeling right there, taking out the actual having sex part, I can incorporate that into myself right now. A lot of people know what masturbation is before they know what sex is. Even if they don't know there's a word for it, mm -hmm. you know that if you touch a part of your body, it can feel good before you have any inclination yes. to actually have sex or so on. Okay, I get it now. Okay. You keep teaching me things. <laughs> Too wise. <laughs> In the space that we're in now, where you know sex positivity is like so much more spoken about and stuff, are you finding it easier to explain your sexuality to people now? It's weird for asexuality because I always feel like people don't really know what it is, but they still have a lot of opinions about it. Yeah. I get called the craziest things on the basis of being asexual. I've been called a pedophile, I've been called a psychopath, I've been called what? a serial killer. <laughs> if you're not sexually attracted to someone, it's because you're lacking in this like ultimate human experience. Therefore, you're just dis disconnected from humanity and you could probably kill people. For that reason, I do feel like it is still taboo, but not in the same way as like, you know, the way- Being a slut. <laughs> <laughs> the attention that you get, the negative stuff or the trolling, is something that I would expect to get, being the way that I am speaking as crassly as I <laughs> But then I don't. Now everyone's just like, we love you, <laughs> yes, yes, queen. <laughs>was really interesting to ask about like what does sexual attraction feel like because that's a phenomenon I've never experienced. I would still rather be asexual because I'm very much content with how I am. I love the way I experience 
sexuality, I love my sexual experience and I'm quite happy with the card that I was dealt. I'd definitely still rather be like allosexual. I understand the asexual point of view, but I love orgasms. And obviously, I guess like if I was asexual then nobody would spank me and that would make me sad. That feels like a really wild thing to say at the end, I'm sorry. <laughs>